another edition of Survival Warehouse Library. I'm John Melandrid, and our sponsor is survivalwarehouse.com. Without our sponsor, these videos would not be made. What we're going to do is talk about hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is in most homes, and there is many, many different types of usages for this. Now, instead of just holding up a bottle of hydrogen peroxide and talking about it, I've actually decided to make this YouTube video a slideshow video, and I'll narrate and show you the different usages. Hydrogen peroxide is widely used as mild acid. It is present in fresh fruits and vegetables. Peroxide. The plants synthesize hydrogen peroxide during photosynthesis, so all fresh fruits and vegetables contain it. According to Richard Wilhelm, pioneer in promoting hydrogen peroxide, and have revealed that it can also be used for several elements, including bacterial uh, related mental illnesses to even polio. Hydrogen peroxide is used in as a antiseptic and that's where we're going to actually focus our, our research on is the three percent that you have in your cupboard. You know hydrogen peroxide has been approved by the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA even, as mouthwash. All skin related infections such as you know cold sores, insect bites, pimples, burns and so on can be uh, healed by using hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is used in the treatment of arthritis even. Uh, it's also, you know, many, many home remedies, uh, even cold and flu and airborne disease. But there are so many different usages for it. Did you know that the Amish started using hydrogen peroxide in agriculture? I mean, it's incredible to use this. I call it the little fizzer because you can get rid of many uh, bugs on your plants by doing it and at that small of a concentration it doesn't actually hurt the plant it actually helps the plant any runoff goes into the soil and actually oxygenates the soil if for instance you had a hydroponic system uh, I would use hydrogen peroxide even though it dissipates fast it gives the root structure a kind of a boost in oxygen so for the plants themselves it is extremely beneficial uh, and I recommend it highly but there are so many different things that you can use this for uh, you can use it as an alternative for bleach for instance uh, you add one cup of uh, peroxide to white clothes in your laundry uh, to help whiten them you can also use it as a rejuvenating detoxifying bath uh, you just add two quarts to three percent hydrogen uh, peroxide in your bath water and soak for about a half an hour uh, foot fungus use a 50 50 mixture uh, you can use it as a uh, a douche uh, for women uh, in the event that you don't and everybody knows of course infections uh, it's a great uh, source to to kill infections but even on animals like bird mite infection uh, you can use to help spray down your chickens uh, you know to relieve them of bird mites so it's a different alternative to using uh, poisons on them. You can actually use it as a, a sinus infections uh, as well. 3% peroxide added to one cup of non-chlorinated water into a nasal spray. You know wound care is, is what everybody associates it with but there are so many more different things that, that you can use it. For instance a lot of your toothpaste and mouthwash now contain hydrogen peroxide and so just at a 3%, uh, you add that with, you know, a cup full of water and you can flush with it. It's good for canker sores, uh, even down to toothaches. Now, I've never tried this on a toothache, but uh, I, I all believe them. But mouthwash is, is one of the best. Toothpaste, of course, uh, you just add a little bit of baking soda and there you go. Also, uh, you can use it for hair lightening. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people knew that, but 3% uh, peroxide with uh, a 50-50 spray solution on your wet hair after the shower and just comb it in, and it'll actually uh, create a burnt blonde uh, you know, hair. So it's, it's great for a highlighter. 
Also, uh, contact lenses. Uh, you don't want to add it straight, of course, but it does help, uh, you know, your contact lenses uh, for keeping them clean. But it's a sanitizer. It's a disinfecting cleaner. I mean, that's that's why it's it's so fantastic. But it also kills germs on your counter. Now, I don't like using anything, you know, that's going to leave a residue or, or a poisonous solution. So, you know, on your tabletops, it'll kill germs uh, simply by just taking a rag and wiping down your counters with it. Uh, there's, you know, even glass if you, you want to use it as a glass cleaner. In the dishwasher, now if you add two ounces of 3% hydrogen peroxide to your regular washing formula, uh, it's great for your dishes. In your bathroom, of course, use a 50-50 mix of 3% hydrogen peroxide. Uh, you know, and what's great is it won't actually harm your septic, septic system like bleach or some of the disinfectants. So you can use it in your toilet bowl, you can use it in your kitchen, your cutting boards. Uh, of course, you can use vinegar as well, but we're talking about hydrogen peroxide. So, you know, it's a cheap, effective way of, of doing it. One of the things I find very interesting is a vegetable soak. And, and that's important because so many times I've heard about lettuce or spinach or something that has had bacterias. And so what you do, very simply, is take uh, your vegetables and you add one-fourth cup of hydrogen peroxide to a sink of cold water and you let it sit in there for 20 minutes you know even down to uh, you know like cucumbers or, or anything you can actually soak in there dry them off refrigerate them this also prolongs the freshness so that's that's extremely interesting uh, for prolonging but you can use it as a vegetable spray too uh, where you just mist it on now another important thing is you always hear about bacteria on meats and nobody wants to take and, and wash their meats with soap and water. Uh, rinsing it off you know doesn't necessarily does anything and so you can actually mist your meat with hydrogen peroxide to sanitize it and then just rinse it off before you're, you're uh, cooking it and so uh, you know that's something to consider. Leftover top salad you know, of course, uh, if it's leftovers, you want to help keep it sterilized. A lot of people don't realize, too, that it's a marinade. Uh, place meat, fish, poultry uh, in a casserole dish. Avoid using aluminum, by the way. Cover with a diluted solution of equal parts of water and hydrogen peroxide. And place loosely covered in the refrigerator for a half an hour and then rinse it off. Uh, you'd be surprised. Try it out. Another great thing is mold. You know, for uh, biohazards, uh, the toxic mold and stuff like that, uh, it's a great cleanser for that. You can also put it in humidifiers, by the way. Use one pint, 3% uh, hydrogen peroxide to a gallon of water. And uh, it can also help sterilize the air and get rid of the bacteria in the air. A lot of people don't realize this, but because it's a, a tough oxygenator, uh, basically, it's a light acid, it can remove stains in your laundry. So you can actually at, use it as a stain remover. 3% hydrogen peroxide is the best stain lifting if used fairly soon. Although blood stains or uh, you know stuff that's days old, it's not going to work as well. Uh, keep that in mind. Also, uh, you know, anytime you wash any laundry, uh, of course, especially uh, socks, <laughs> because there's so much bacteria on socks that uh, I highly recommend it. And that brings me to a point, too, that one time our dog was hit by a skunk, and I mean bad. And I have heard the old tale of tomato juice, you know, that works, but I actually took hydrogen peroxide and doused him in it. And yes, it did bleach his uh, hair somewhat. He actually turned kind of whitish. Uh, he's a golden lab. But it neutralized that skunk smell almost immediately. And I let it sit on him for, oh, maybe three or four minutes. Then I washed him down with soap and water really good. 
it had just a very light smell left. And so I, I repeated it one more time and it totally annihilated the, the skunk smell. That's how uh, much of an acid or an oxidation that it creates. So there are so many uses, but the greatest thing uh, to me is fruits and vegetables. When I buy them in the store, I want to make sure they're clean. And I like to clean my counters in my bathroom because we're on septic. So those are some of the uses. Uh, I hope it helps. I hope you use them. Uh, give me some feedback with things that you have tried out. We can add those to the list. Um, I'm also going to post this on pioneerliving.net as well. And look for our other videos. Uh, subscribe to them, like them, pass them around. We really appreciate it. Uh, once again, this is for Survival Library, sponsored by survivalwarehouse.com. Of course, the greatest company in the world. And I'm John Melandrid. I'll see you on the next video.